In this video, we're going to finish up with the catamaran fishing boat. So I've added an extra layer of cloth to the end of each one of these pontoons to act as a little bit more abrasion resistance. Additionally, I went ahead and finished painting them white, so uh, they're completely uh, painted now. I've got a piece of this aluminum uh, square tubing. This is uh, stuff that was intended for making uh, pool cages. So I've cut it into two 12 feet pieces and I wash it off with a little bit of soapy water and I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a wire brush. I've chosen this Gorilla uh, heavy duty construction adhesive because it claims to stick to uh, painted surfaces and cloth and wood and aluminum so uh, it seemed like it was going to be the best fit. So I've got my world famous bricks holding everything down here. Uh, the idea with the, uh, with the tubing is to add a little more rigidity to the uh, pontoons, but also to give me something rigid that I can screw to. So I used the rest of my expanding foam to go ahead and fill these uh, these aluminum channels uh, as much as I could. Uh, I'm not sure that it really needed it or it's going to help that much, but one way or the other I figured it's better in there than in the can. So I went ahead and trimmed off the excess foam here uh, on all four sides so that uh, have a little bit of a cleaner look when we go ahead and put the deck on. So I've been considering several options for the decking on the boat. Originally I wanted to use a aluminum angle bracket, make a rectangular box here and then have a wooden slats in it. However, I'm not really sure how well this whole boat's going to work and I just don't want to like sink hundreds of dollars into it just to find out that fundamentally the whole thing's uh, not going to work so great. So as you can tell, I've uh, opted to go with some, uh, some plywood for starters, and then uh, the plan is if it, uh, if it all works great, then, uh, you know, then we can go ahead and uh, uh, redo it with, uh, with another deck, and if it doesn't, then I don't have to have a thousand bucks tied up into this just to find out that, uh, that it's not so great. So one thing I did figure out so far is that uh, this plywood's not really going to be stiff enough to stand on like it is, so I'm going to have to get some 2x4 support underneath it. So it's going to add a little bit to the, uh, to the cost of this. Uh, you know, another option too is, uh, uh, back before I started the channel, I made this boat, and it's all wood, and it's all painted with roof, uh, roof sealant. And, uh, it seems to be, uh, protecting the wood just fine. So, this boat's, uh, about a year and a half old now, so uh, for a wooden boat uh, in Florida, just without any maintenance, I think it's doing pretty well. So anyway, uh, maybe we'll end up doing the same thing here. So to stiffen up this uh, plywood a bit, I just stuck a 2x4 under the front edge. And we'll have one also under the seams to join the, uh, the sheets together. One panel down, two to go. One step closer. So here we are, complete. First thing in the morning, we'll throw it in the water and try her out. So just from standing on this deck, it's already pretty clear that I'm gonna have to add some more bracing. But before I do it, we're going to go ahead and stick it in the water and see how things work out. Tide's uh, reasonably high. This is the high for today, so Let's see how it goes. It actually went quite a bit faster than I expected it would, uh, but there's still something that uh, that we need to take care of here, and that is that uh, we have to add some stiffness between the pylons uh, or the pontoons. Uh, they want to kind of bend inwards. Uh, that uh, that aluminum pipe isn't really down uh, strong enough uh, to kind of give it the stiffness we need. I don't know if it's pulling up the cloth or if it's uh, flexing at the uh, at the pipe or uh, 
where it is, but uh, it's really not stiff enough. Uh, the deck isn't down on these uh, as strong as it should be. But I think that uh, I think we got a really good start here. So as we've discussed previously, uh, this boat is really not stiff enough side to side. Uh, these rails aren't really done hard enough. So what I've done is I've added a couple 2x6s here. Uh, one in the front and one in the back. We've got uh, carriage bolts that go all the way through the pontoons. And uh, these pontoons are done with a construction adhesive. And I tried to seal up the, uh, the bolts uh, as good as I possibly could. So uh, the boat seems stiff enough now. So I need to trim those bolts off a little bit, and obviously everything needs to get painted. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, the roof sealant that I mentioned before. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a test. Well, that's exactly what I was looking for. I've got a really stable platform I can walk around without feeling uh, uncomfortable. Uh, the boat doesn't feel like it's going to tip or anything like that. And I don't draw any more than a kayak. So uh, I think that this project's a success. The only real downside to this is it does weigh quite a bit more than I wish it did. Uh, I stuck the bathroom scale under one of the pontoons. And it read 90, and I think that that pontoon was still uh, touching the dock a bit. So uh, this thing probably weighs close to 200 pounds, I would think. But anyway, uh, I'm going to call this project done. I'm going to get a coat of paint on it, uh, trim off those, uh, those studs, uh, maybe mount a couple pleats. Uh, but uh, other than that, just a few little odds and ends. Uh, but it's a really stable platform, works out really nice. Uh, very maneuverable, uh, very solid in the water, and I think that this is going to work out really nice for fishing the flats. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.